Hello there guys and welcome to yet another video on SEPA channel. Today's video is going to be about a navigation app, which technically it's an offline navigation app, similar to other apps that we have had uh, checked on this channel. It's called maps.me. The first thing that you're going to have to keep in mind, one, it's available on Android Auto, which is great. As an example, Petal Maps, it's an app which is not available on Android Auto. So the first thing that uh, is going to ask you when you pull up the application in Android Auto will be for you to download the actual map where you are located it's gonna have sections of different you know kind of counties and all that which i'm not you know i'm not very i'm not me generally speaking i'm not very happy about having to download every section of the map but hey you know it is what it is let's go ahead and download it hopefully it's gonna be quite uh, quite fast that is the the general idea we do have a good internet connection so we should be able to if you want to show me here maps downloading so that's where it's downloading the the maps from uh, the application maps.me so we're just about halfway through obviously we had how much 150 something megabits to download so you know it's not it's not easy i suppose um but what that does what, what that actually makes me think is that in order for you to have the app downloaded you're gonna have to use at least about one gigabyte for the whole UK. And not just that, but if you're gonna travel outside the country, you're gonna need more and more. Hey, it's a good thing because you don't need internet. So if you're traveling outside the country, at least you will be able to use the maps without the necessary need of having internet. But Google Maps has the option to download maps. Anyway, this is the app itself. Uh, in the left side, we are starting with uh, favorites, which I suppose there is nothing in there because we haven't used it. Uh, so that's where you're going to find your saved locations and also with the search. Now, uh, with the search, I suppose if you tap on this, you will be able to type. So you can type here. As an example, uh, we're going to use Tesco Express. which is about 900 meters, that's right. And we also have the option to um, click on this microphone and we can kind of, well, say it. You do have the option in which you can, if you type in here, you will be able to type on your phone directly instead of typing on the screen. So that's an option. Um, before going somewhere, let's see what other options, uh, options we have. I suppose if we click here, it should show us the favorite locations, where to eat, hotels, groceries, sites i suppose is like sightseeing kind of thing parks and all that wi-fi locations with wi-fi transport and uh, petrol charging stations for evs very important parkings car parks shopping atms you know what let's let's try the uh the parking we have a video on the channel where we have tried ringo which is a parking uh app where you can find you know uh, car parks but looks like here Generally speaking, you have a lot more car parks than Oringo because Oringo it's only going to show you the car parks where you can pay using Ringo. In this app, it's going to show you pretty much from multiple other um, providers, I suppose, and managers as well. Um, let's see what parking is this. This should be the Tesco parking. It does give you anything. No, it doesn't tell you anything about if there is like paid for parking or something, but at least it's a good idea. Let's click on this Drummond Street because I know this is a paid for parking. Coordinates. So it doesn't tell you if it's paid for parking or not, but hey, at least you have an idea. Right, so this is this is great. Now, um, let's see on this routes. It's showing you my routes, your routes. So I suppose you'll have to select the location first and then let's go ahead and select the location. And then let's go to Lidl. Let's put that as an example. Lidl, what? Lidl, Marsborough Street, that's in city center. Right, so uh, my location, destination, it's Lidl. You can also add a, a, a stop and then you can start. Let's click on start. Good, now, uh, what is this button? Track recording started, so you can record your journey i suppose that's that's the catch then if we save it your track has been saved to the my places folder that's interesting settings routing options 
Avoid tolls road, very important all the time. Avoid highways, ferry crossings, and unpaved roads. Yes, please. Sound, obviously you have two options, yes or no. Perspective view, I'm not sure what this does. You know what, let's see what it does. Perspective view is like a... Well, it's like a maps view, kind of. And then if we activate it, hopefully it's going to show us a bit different. Yeah. So the perspective view also... Oh, that's nice. Has a bit of 3D as well. Uh, quite similar with other apps that we have tried and, and used. Um, as an example, Waze, Google Maps, they all have like this 3D kind of kind of thing. I'm curious how it's going to look like when we're going to, to actually drive. Um Next thing, map style. Do we have a satellite, I wonder? Default bright. So you don't have an actual satellite view. It's just, you know, a different kind of view. But it doesn't show you like on maps. It actually shows you satellite view from above, which is very useful at times. At least for me. Uh, color theme. Violet or green. Oh, well. Well, let's let's give violet because it goes nice with actually green. Why not? Let's leave it green. Right. Let's see other settings. No, I suppose that's it. So the next thing that we'll have to do is to try it out. Let's see how this uh, graphic is gonna change. Where is my journey? Come on, where is my route? It ha it's, it's a bit laggy. It's a bit laggy. Mate, I'm going the other way around. You see, it's like... What are you doing? Let's see if it's actually going to... Yeah, finally. It uh, it readjusted its route. But it's a bit laggier than with uh, with Google Maps. I, will, I feel like that's the case. You guys might want to check the video about Google Maps in Waze and let us know if you feel like it's a bit bit laggy when it comes to readjusting the um, the route. But hey, apart from that, it's you know generally speaking, it's it's a navigation map. As long as it's gonna have the right streets, you know, uh, you should be happy with. And if you don't have any internet, this might be some sort of a life savior. The glaring is not helping, is it? Anything else we should be checking here? I suppose that's that's about it. You have the indications kind of what to do. It's a bit crazy because you say it tells you you have to go left, but technically this is a roundabout, mate. I'm not sure if this has been updated. It should show you the roundabout, generally speaking. At least most of the apps, they are they are doing that. But it's just telling you to turn left. But if we go left, it's just gonna be on the wrong, on the wrong road. So, oh, finally now. It took some time to decide that. Imagine if it wasn't for us to actually have to wait for other cars to pass. Chances are we might have done a left. Imagine if you activate the voice and the voice says, you know, is saying do left, you're going to do left. So this is uh, something that they may want to look at. Um, 45 miles, 42. Is this mileage? Because if it's mileage, then it's totally wrong. We have 28 miles, 30 miles. Is it kilometers? I think it's kilometers. Right, so we should have an option to change it to kilometers, but again, something good to know. Uh, it's generally speaking, it's good to have to have uh, your your speed, at least estimated speed, being displayed because hey, funds are quite expensive. Guys, um, this was the presentation of maps.me. If you guys will want to see how this application works on your mobile phone as well, not on Android Auto specifically, please drop a comment below. And as always, please do not forget, only 0.5% of you guys watching these videos are being subscribed. It's going to help us massively. If you are going to sub to the video, we want to increase that to about 2 to 3%. It's going to help a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys later on in the next video. Bye now.